Hey guys, I have exciting, exciting news. I am here with the Energetic Weather Report for August 1st to August 7th with my new deck that comes out in October, Guardian Angel Messages Tarot. I am so, so excited that this is coming out in October and this is going to be the first readings that we see from this in the Energetic Weather Report. So, uh, hello. <laughs> You're going to love it. You're going to love it. But first, we are going to use Angel Wisdom Tarot cards to find your Archangel that you might want to be working with this week because this is a deck of guardian angels. So do you feel called to card number one, to card number two, to card number three, or card number four? All right, here we go. Let me show you my new beautiful, beautiful cards. The artwork was done by Dan Craig, who I love, the same guy who did the artwork for Angel Wisdom Tarot cards. But, oh my God, it's, they're so beautiful. <laughs> they're so beautiful. So for Sunday, fun loving that we got the first card of tarot for the first card of the week for the first energetic weather report to be using guardian angel messages tarot cards so it is the dreamer beginnings believing and protected what else more could you want from a guardian angels so we have this energy I'm knowing that something new is beginning, something exciting, something wonderful. It's the little girl with the butterflies telling us we're going to grow and we're going to grow in a great way the whole time that we are protected by our guardian angels. Now, on Monday, we take that energy and we run with it. It is two of fire, planning, partnering, progress. So this is where we take something that has happened and we further, we go further with it. We take it to the next level. We take it to the next step. We realize that maybe we can't do this by ourselves anymore. Maybe that whole partnering thing is really important. We need somebody to work with us. And there we have that white feather laying on the ground, symbolic of a guardian angel's energy that is there with us at this moment. Now, um, on Tuesday, things slow down a little bit. We have awakening, a pause, a perspective, selflessness. So you'll notice that we have here a, an hourglass that is laying on its side. Time has stopped it's okay, it will pick right back up and I can see it picking right back up in these cards. But this is a moment where we get to reflect, we get to go inward and we get to think about what is it that we want to do. We get some clear understanding from that from the king of fire, the king of fire. Now you'll notice in the court cards, I did some very different stuff with this deck and every king has a tree with a crown on it. And so this card says, inspirational, charismatic, innovative. This is a card that keeps coming up and keeps coming up. And what I have been saying about this card is that be the star of your own show. Be, put yourself forward because this guy loves the spotlight. He loves everybody to notice him. And you don't have to like be really in the spotlight. You have to just put yourself in the spotlight of your own life. And that's what you'll be working on on Wednesday. Now, Thursday, maybe you take that a little much because we have 10 of fire, 10 of fire, overworked, stressed, and imbalanced. And so this is a card that says, okay, come on, guys, bring some balance to things. Make sure that there is a balance between work life, personal life, that you've got some time. There we have on the, the counter a penny, a copper penny, and one of the other signs that represents that our guardian angels are there. Now you're going to see signs like this throughout the deck, and you always know it is a sign from the angels from these rays of light that are coming from the um, object, whether it's a white feather, a penny, a white butterfly, they'll have these rays of light in showing us that our angels are with us, even through that challenging Thursday. 
Friday, we have transformation, um, uh, realization, life change, liberation. So here we have this arch this guardian angel that is leading us away from things that might not feel good at the moment or possibly things that are going to help us to evolve and grow later. But it's a time of great transformation. And finally, on uh, Saturday, we have two of water, two of water. Again, partnership is back again, commitment, reconciliation. We have this sense of love, this sense of compassion with someone else in our life. Could be romantic, could be an intimate friendship, but someone who is willing to help us through everything that we are going through at the, on this particular week of August 1st through August 7th. So there's your first look at Guardian Angel Messages Tarot Cards. Now let's see which archangel you might be wanting to work with from Angel Wisdom Tarot cards. The first card we have is Release. This is Archangel Azrael. He helps us with forgiveness, with sorrow, with sadness, with healing the past. If that is something that you're feeling like you need to be doing this week, Azrael is your guy. Card number two is Archangel Michael. He makes us feel safe. He uses his sword of light to sever energetic connections to stories and worries and fears and anxieties and drama and all these things that we don't want in our lives anymore. Card number three is Archangel Haniel, and she is the Archangel of psychic gifts and divine gifts and also uh, women's issues. So if those are in your mind this week, She's your girl. And finally, we have, interestingly enough, the dreamer. So we started with the dreamer from Guardian Angel Messages Tarot Cards, and we're ending with a dream, dreamer from Angel Wisdom Tarot Cards and with Archangel Metatron. Archangel Metatron helps us with grounding, with focus, with manipulating time, and helping us to manifest things we want to have in our life. So again, uh, Guardian Angel Messages to Row Cards. We'll put the link in here. You can pre-order this. I'm so excited about it, and I hope you are too. See you soon.